Pepe University, D. Shen, How to Get a Sugar Daddy. <laughs> First and foremost, I want to address something real quick. A lot of y'all females been hitting me up on my DMs on Instagram asking me, can I be a sugar daddy? So what exactly is a sugar daddy? A sugar daddy is a male that's going to look out for you financially in exchange for your beauty and time. <laughs> and a sugar daddy, don't get it twisted. A sugar daddy don't got to be a millionaire or a billionaire. They can be a thousandaire. All it is is you spitting enough game to get that man to bring you all his bread. He could be a thousandaire and you spit that good game to him. I love you. I love you so much. You're the, you're the, you're the fruit of my heart. You're the apple of my eye. And he's working his whatever paint job he's doing or a carpenter, construction, hard work, a janitor, whatever. And he raking in maybe about five bands a month. And he, he's waiting to give it to you. Like, here you go, baby. Here you go, baby. Here, here's the bread. Here's the money. I'm your sugar daddy. You hear what I'm saying? It's like this manipulation thing. Now I'm going to base this video off of you getting the most richest and, and the millionaire sugar daddies. The million and billionaire sugar daddies. Let's uh let's omit the part about you know the low budget sugar daddies, cause I really want you to get paid. Now, do I condone this type of behavior of you wanting to get a sugar daddy? Not really. From my perspective, if if you got two arms and two legs and you looking beautiful, you can probably work a nice little job, save up some bread, start up some businesses, and you a boss. But I mean, what can I say? That's not my business. You heard what I'm saying? Do I care if he wants to get a sugar daddy? Nah. Should you care what I think? Absolutely not. If I'm not going to hook you up with no shrimp fried rice and I'm not paying for your, your noodles and shit, why should, why should you care? My opinions don't matter. Do you. You hear what I'm saying? So where can you find a sugar daddy? Anywhere. But in this video, I want you to find the most balling ass sugar daddies ever. We talking to millions and billionaires. What I want you to do is, and since I live in California, I'm going to give y'all some examples in Cali. I want you to hit up places like Beverly Hills. Hop into a Beverly Hills Starbucks one day, okay? And when you do go to these expensive-ass areas, rich-ass cities, you want to look like the baddest female in town. You know what I mean? I want you to wear some tight-ass clothes with your rock some thongs and shit. Let that shit kind of like leave the imprints in your uh, yoga pants and shit. Rock some nice ass skirts and dresses. Get some tight ass shirt. Make your titties pop out. Make your lips all plump and shit. You feel me? Rock all the makeup you need to. Just look sexy than a mother father. You hear me? Look so sexy that you're going to be the center of attention. And you're going to get heads turning like this. Left and right. You hear me? You hear me? You're going to give people you know, neck injuries and shit. But you want to be the baddest female every time you go out. Because that's the only way you're going to have these balling ass dudes approach you, okay? So step one is to be the baddest female by rocking the baddest clothes and look the sexiest worldwide. Make sure you're looking like the baddest female in the whole wide world. You hear what I'm saying? So wear some tight ass clothes. If it got to be skanky and hoish, do it by all means. Rock that shit. Be, be a hoe. You hear what I'm saying? But look sexy as hell, period. So let's say you hop into a... Uh, Beverly Hills Starbucks. Take a book with you. You know what I'm saying? Take a book with you, read it, and wait for some attention. You can also go to cities like Malibu. Hop into a grocery store in Malibu. Like an organic mother's market if they got one out there. You might bump into a, a rich boss that's hopping in that hopping in that joint to get like man, it's so hard to make a video without cussing. You might find a dude that just hopping into that joint and trying to get some uh, organic juices, squeeze juices and shit. You hear what I'm saying? Go into Laguna Beach. Go out to the beach. Laguna Beach especially. Put a towel out there in your bikini and look sexy as hell. You hear what I'm saying? Um, you can go to, uh, matter of fact, go to the clubs in Hollywood. They got some nice ass clubs and bars all throughout Hollywood. Especially Sunset Boulevard. Hop into each and every one of those clubs and bars. You might even bump into a celebrity that want to break you off. You hear what I'm saying? Now, everything in regards to a sugar daddy is all manipulation tactics. You're manipulating his mind and you're effing him up. You're basically effing his mind up so good he's going, here, baby, baby girl, here's the money right here. Here's the money. 
Hey, baby girl, here you go. Here goes your Chanel. Here goes your Gucci shoes. Here goes your Yves Saint Laurent lipstick collection. All that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Make it look like you don't care about no money. Make it look like money ain't money ain't shit to you. Okay, that's how you're going to F them up. When you go out and you meet the sugar daddy for the first time, you want him to approach you. You don't want to approach him. A lot of these rich millionaires are on their toes nowadays because so many women are scheming them. They've been watching all these YouTube videos and Instagram models making money look like it's the most powerful thing in the world. That's all they're seeking. Money, money, this, money, that. Pay me for this, pay me for that, pay me for coochie, pay me for that. You know what I'm saying? And so men are on their toes and they, they think that you're up to something if you approach them. Let them approach you. Let the dude, the sugar daddy, approach you, okay? Now you might get lucky and a sugar daddy might approach you on your first attempt. However, if the first attempt don't work, don't be discouraged. Hop on to the next thing. The next day, hit up the club, hit up the bar in Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood. That day you might not get hollered at. You know, a lot of these dudes, they intimidated by pretty women. Next day, and go to uh, go to Mother's Market in Laguna Beach. You hear what I'm saying? Slowly but surely, somebody's going to end up hollering at you. Now, whenever dealing with the sugar daddy type situations, and when you first meet one, you want to always convey this type of image. You want to act like you're passive and soft-spoken. Don't act rough. Don't be like, oh, yeah, I'm that bitch. I'm coming out. I'm doing it big. Don't act real tough like that. Be very passive. Very humble, soft-spoken, and innocent. Act like act like you're an, you're an airhead, like really dumb. But make sure your personality is very bubbly. Like, hey, how are you? He he he, ha ha ha. Like, be very cute at the same time. So what you what you what you're really doing is effing them up. You're sexy as hell, but you're kind of innocent and kind of passive and soft-spoken. You're very bubbly and sweet, but you're kind of dumb. You don't know a lot about money. You don't know a lot about the world. You're wearing some skanky ass clothes, but you kind of classy with the conversations. Never go out rocking no expensive shit. Never take your Chanel bags. Never take your uh, red bottom shoes out there. So basically, you're making this guy think that, oh, may maybe this is the type of girl that's going to be submissive towards me. Now, don't be alarmed if this sugar daddy is going to want you, want your p pussy cat. Eventually, he's going to want to hit it. Don't be alarmed. That just comes with the game. Now, if, if this sugar daddy is not looking for that, you know he's one of them weirdos that, that be wanting to get their balls stepped on with some high 10-inch heels and shit like that. <laughs> well, I got this 2K right here, the 2K21. I'm going to download this shit. All right. Now, the sugar daddy is going to eventually come and holler at you because you the baddest female in that Starbucks or the bookstore or the grocery store, or the club, or the bar. So this is how you respond. Be soft-spoken and innocent, like I said. Hello, how are you? Nice to meet you. He's going to start asking you some questions. Respond. Don't be too eager to respond either. Act like you're not really interested in him. Act like you're occupied with some other stuff. You hear what I'm saying? And then he's going to try to talk to you even more. Once again, act innocent. Act a little dumb, low key, and kind of airheaded at the same time, like hee hee ha ha, hee hee. But you're innocent. You know nothing about money. And then eventually, he's gonna want to get your number. So this is how you respond. I'm not sure if I should give you the number. I've been hurt before in the past. I don't know. I really don't know. But you are handsome. If you promise that you won't hurt me if I give you my number, and boom. He's going to say, all right, I promise. You get the number and boom, you call it a date. Now, he's going to eventually take you out on some dates, nice ass restaurants and shit like that. You know, you go out and once again, you, you keep the same demeanor. You keep the same style that you do. Look sexy as hell. Be soft spoken, sweet, innocent, but also giggly at the same time. Act like you don't care about money. Money is not an issue to you. You don't care about money. You're not looking at it about money because you know deep inside this dude's a millionaire, but you don't want to. Bring that up or anything about money. You always come out with some cheap ass coach or Dooney and Burke purses, all that low budget stuff, and you come out to the restaurant with him. Now you're gonna make it seem like this man is the only man in the world that can take care of your needs. This is the only man that can take care of you emotionally, financially, sexually, physically, and shit like that. Now I forgot to mention, don't put out unless you know he's gonna be your sugar daddy. Because once he hits it, he has every every opportunity to dip out. And when he when you're eating food and, and you guys are conversating and stuff, 
you know, be very giggly. Be very giggly. Bust some jokes, cute little jokes here and there, and get him really engaged with you. Let this man think that, man, this, this girl's an angel. She's so innocent. She's so sexy. Man, she's even funny. But yet she doesn't care about money. You hear what I'm saying? And it's going to really blow his mind. You hear me? He's going to be like, damn, this this the one. You know, if he takes you to a balling ass restaurant, obviously you can't pay for that. So, you know, kind of apologize to him. Like, I'm really sorry. I'm currently working two jobs. But I'm going to save some up. And when I take you out next time to a restaurant, it's on me. He's going to laugh and giggle. He thinks it's going to be cute. He's like, man, this girl is really on some innocent. She don't care about money. This is the one. That's what he's going to think. You hear what I'm saying? Now, when he takes you to a lower budget restaurant, don't be offended by that. He's just testing the waters. Let him do his thing. You take, He takes you out. And when it comes down to paying, you make sure you put your card down or some cash down and split it halfway. It's going to F him up. He's going to be like, man, this girl really ain't. She ain't really about the money like that. And then go, go on with the date. Now, eventually, he's going to hit you up again and wants to take you out again. He had a good time. And he likes you a lot. He's like, man, this girl is the most amazing girl ever. Now, this is how you use a schoolgirl technique. I invented this shit, by the way. You act like you're going to school. You act like a broke schoolgirl that's trying to make ends meet. Okay? You work in two jobs, and this is how you respond to one. I really like you. I think you're handsome, you're amazing, you're so strong, you're so awesome. Just feed his ego with some bullshit, even if it's not true. You're, you're like the only guy who can make me laugh like this all the time. But I want to go out with you, but I can't right now. And he's going to be like, why? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make ends meet right now. I need to finish school, and I have to pay off school right now. And I'm kind of short, so I have to find another job. You're going to be like, oh, shit. Do, do you need some help? Is there something I can do to help? And boom. <laughs> you got that mother father. You hear me? You got him all locked. Tom Cruise top gun. <laughs> you hear what I'm saying? Oh, shit. <laughs> so the rest is history. From that point on, you definitely know that you got him. There's another technique you can use. It's called the uh, sugar daddy, sugar baby fantasy. This, this is going to happen in the long run. So you got to wait like a month month into dating. One day, you know, you guys are having a nice romantic dinner. And you want to ask him. You say, what are some of your fetishes? What are some of your fetishes? And he'll go, oh, I like sucking on toes. Or or I like putting my my face in the in the nipple, my nose in the nipple, or some weird fetish like that, <laughs> some weird shit like that, okay? So he's going to say, what's your fetish? And you're going to have to play it off like, I don't know, it's kind of embarrassing, it's kind of embarrassing, I don't know if I should tell you, he'll be like, please, come on, just say it, I don't know, it's so embarrassing, I don't think I should say it, it's kind of weird, and he's going to say, come, just say it. So the fetish is, I always had this, just this weird fetish where I, like, have this rich guy just take advantage of me, just take care of me, just take care of me in all different ways, financially, sexually, mentally, emotionally, and just fuck the shit out of me. <laughs> and he's going to be like, what the F? Kind of confused, but low-key like, I'll be like, oh shit, maybe we could try that. Maybe I can, maybe I can suck on your toes while you do that sugar daddy thing. Yeah, I don't know. That's a weird fetish, but I don't know. It's kind of... You ever heard of a sugar daddy? That's when you bring it up. You ever heard of a sugar daddy? He goes, yeah, I don't know what a sugar daddy is. Yeah, something like that. Now, boom. That shit might work. That's not going to work 100% of the time. The other technique that I taught you is going to work 100% of the time. You understand? Now, remember, a sugar daddy ain't nothing but a man that's giving you his bread for your beauty and time. Period. So all you got to do is manipulate him and spit that good game at him for him to be confused and convinced that his main job in his life is to take care of you financially. Also, always remember, make it seem like he's the most amazing thing in this world. Like he's the only man that can take care of your financial needs, sexual needs, emotional needs, just protecting you, doing all types of good shit for you. Make it seem like he's the only one that can do that. When you talk to him later on, he becomes closer to you and you know you guys start talking about money and shit start mentioning shit like this like you're the only one that can take care of me thank you so much 
What could I do without you? What would I do without you? I don't want to lose you. You're the best thing that happened to me in my life. Like, you want to keep doing this type of shit. And he's going to be like, yeah, I'm that mother father. You hear me? Ha ha ha. Here's the money right here. Ha ha ha. Got you, baby. Ha ha. And then all you're doing is collecting that. Boom. Boom. You're doing it. Now, you can have multiple sugar daddies. Remember, it ain't just one dude that you got to count on. You might be at Starbucks this day. You might be at the beach another day. Remember, go to ball and ass cities and that's it. Ball and ass cities. Be in that area all day long if you have to. And you're going to come up on a sugar daddy. Now, mark my words. Do this shit for at least a month. Every other day, you're bound to get a sugar daddy. And if you don't hit me on my DMs, let me know how it went. I will find you a sugar daddy. <laughs> if my videos were helpful, please hit that subscribe and like button. And I appreciate you very much. If there's anything in this video that is confusing to you or need for me to elaborate, hit me up on my DMs. I got you. Pimpy University. We out.